Hi, welcome to Ocean Time. I'm Pippa and today I'm talking all about what to pack for a cruise ship. Yay, let's get started. Okay ladies, get your clothes, lay them all out on your bed and look at them have a good think and then take half of the clothes away. And I'm serious about this. Do a lot of mix, mix matching with clothes, with colors, you know, black and whites, mix, mixing and matching. I highly recommend that. I also recommend taking some stretchy pants. Now I'm not saying that you might overeat, but I just recommend taking some loose fitting clothing that might be very comfortable in wearing. That's, I'm just recommending that. Alrighty, I might have to zoom in, but these are travel cubes. This I got from Ikea, um, $12 with a pack with the shoe bag. It's great. I roll my clothes up, I whack them in, I put this in my luggage. I then, when I get on board the ship, I take this out of my luggage, I whack it in the wardrobe, and I have unpacked. Thank you. It's fantastic. I can't recommend these travel cubes enough. They're great. You can also buy them on eBay. They're really cheap. Uh, fantastic. What I do if I'm staying overnight in a hotel before I get on my cruise, I pack a separate one that will have clothes for my husband and my kids. And so I get to the hotel. All I have to do is take out one of these from the suitcase. I don't have to go rambling through my suitcase, so it's really handy. It's got all our clothes all ready for that day or the next day. It's too easy. It's so convenient. These are so cool. I love them. Very cool. Check them out. Please embrace formal night. I love it. Uh, I went to an op shop. I bought a $8 formal dress. It was fantastic. You don't have to spend a lot of money to look good. My kids love dressing up for formal night. Even if it's just a white shirt and black jeans or black pants, it's really great. Especially if you're on a family, like a, a large family, extended family holiday, that you all dress up for formal nights. Get some photos done. It just is really special and very cool. I recommend taking a scarf or two. They come in handy for when you're in the dining room and it's a bit chilly. So I take one of these if I'm wearing a dress that's either sleeveless or like this top and it keeps me warm enough. And if you go out on top deck and you can sort of just wrap it around you and it keeps you nice and warm. So I highly recommend taking a scarf or two on the cruise. You are allowed to take straightening irons. They come in handy for your hair, but if you have a certain shirt or something and it's not too large, you can actually also use this to iron some clothes. Great tip, just to let you know. I take with me a beach bag. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> I actually carry this on. This is my uh, bag that I use to for my carry-on luggage. Uh, don't forget, you can also take a bottle of champagne. So, um, two bottles per cabin. Fantastic. Also, don't forget your, don't forget your sun cream. Also, don't forget like aloe vera, aloe vera, aloe vera. Um, just in case you get sunburnt crazy but it might happen so make sure you have some stuff to soothe that sunburn also in the bag make sure you put your phone charger because you'll need that because you'll be taking so many happy snaps throughout your whole day that you'll need to charge your phone up before you might get your luggage so make sure that your phone charger is in your carry-on bag I also take a couple of plastic bags just throw them in there Kids love taking their goggles or their snorkeling gear, so that's cool as well. 
I take wet wipes just to in case you need them. Um, this is huge. I don't know why, but when we go on holiday vacation, our more well, especially my husband's lips um, get all cracked and stuff. So make sure I take lip balm. It's because it's no good when you have dry lips. Uh, medical kit, band aids, maybe kids Panadol. Um, definitely have your own sort of supply. You can buy it on the ship. It's very expensive, but so just you know make sure you can take what you can. Very handy. Alrighty, some shampoo, conditioner, little sizes, no brainer, too easy. Uh, I've got this, it's a shoe holder uh, from Ikea, $5 for take. I keep my reef shoes in there. I also have another one that I have all my snorkeling gear in. It's great and handy um, to carry and just whack it in my bag, also my beach bag. This is a whiteboard that is magnetic. You can put it on your cabin wall because it's magnetic. Yay! <laughs> um, leave messages. Also, you can leave it on your front door if there's a big group of you and leave messages also. Yes, you can leave messages on the phone, but that's so old school. It's nice and even fellow passengers on the way by write little nice messages. <laughs> Oh. I highly recommend having door magnets. They're so cool. With the door magnets, if you have older people or younger people, it comes in handy as well to have magnets on your door. It's easy to find your cabin and even heaven to Betsy, if someone's had a little bit too much to drink, it might also be an easier way for them to find their cabin, cabin too. There's nothing wrong with decorating your door and I love it. Old Faithful, make sure you take your highlighter to highlight all the cruise compass activities that you want to do so you make sure you don't miss out on all the great activities. I've mentioned these before, you can't have candles, but you can have electronic candles. So they're a great idea, especially if you're in, in an inside cabin, it's very dark if you have children or you just want a little bit of light to see what's going on. Very handy, very cool. Kids part of the section, <laughs> I take uh, a little travel pack, very handy, uh, so they can draw, they can write about their cruising experience. I also take a deck of cards, you know, fantastic, um, if you're in the cabin or up on top deck and the kids can play, or adults as well. So just another activity. I also pack, if we're celebrating something, decorations. Uh, too easy, you can decorate your room, you blow the balloons up. I've also said this on, pre on previous video, I'll put the link below. It's what you can and can't take on board a cruise ship. So check that out, I hope you enjoy. Um, blow the balloon up. <gasps> put some sticky tape on top, stick it to the roof and it's just like helium, helium balloons. It's awesome, it's really cool, trust me, it's fantastic. We have flat, flat packs, so shoe holders and uh, for your jewellery to hang up in the cupboards or the wardrobe, great accessory, very flat and easy to pack. I got those from Spotlight for $7. If I use it once, I'm fine with that. Leave it on board the ship, I don't have to repack it, it's fine. If you're going to do some washing on board, there's nothing wrong with taking one of these so you can hang up your washing. Great idea. If you don't want to take a beach bag that's really big and bulky, you can take a backpack so it's nice and flat and in your luggage. <laughs> um, so that's a great alter alternative too. I'm Australian, I'm big with a thumbs up, what can I say? <laughs> don't forget to take lanyards. These come in very handy and everyone has them on the ship. But lanyards are cool, so you can buy them on the ship, you can buy them prior. Travel agents give them out, which is great and handy, cool, thank you. If you're cruising out of Australia, you're going to need a different adapter. 
on Royal Caribbean ships, they have American and European plugs. If you are inclined, take a selfie stick, lots of photos. Um, also for the GoPro, it's fantastic. And, you know, I'm getting used to it. You know, I'm liking a bit of videoing. It's very cool. I hope this has helped you out. If you have any packing tips, please leave them in a comment below to help out our fellow cruisers. Thanks for being on board and see you later.